Hey, what is going on guys? So it's been a while since I made a video, but today it's a very special occasion and a great opportunity to make a video because I finally got my hands on this product called the Shroom Saver. So I've had this bounce mushroom for about um, three, four years and I've propagated it a bunch of times. It's a WWC biohazard and a couple of people that I've given this frag to uh, it's been enough time for them for them to be like a, a decent size where they could also cut it and you know sell it these people have been actually having problems because they end up uh, losing the frag they cut it they put in a frag plug and they end up they end up losing it what I do is that I usually get this basket that has a magnetic mount some people use it for anemones so they just put some rubble at the bottom of the tank of the uh, container and then that's what I use to put the shrooms the mushrooms and then uh, they there's no flow in that basket so they don't get blown away it gives the mushrooms the time to uh, attach to the plug or the rubble or whatever it is usually I use the rubble uh, this like marble this like glass marbles and then once I see that the uh, mushrooms attached to the marble then I grab the whole thing and just glue that on, on top of a plug and that's the way I sell the shrooms or trade them or whatever um, so three weeks ago I did a giveaway on my Instagram we gave away one of the shirts the coral work shirts that we make here and this company uh, called shroom saver won the t-shirt so I actually ended up checking out his products and he makes this rack right here. So this is called the Shroom Saver. And basically what this is, a container, kind of like that basket that blocks a lot of the flow. This attaches to the back of your tank thing right here. You put it on your in your tank and the whole thing just kind of hangs on there. And these containers are where you would be placing your shroom or your zoas or whatever it is that you're going to be propagating. This has a lid that screws on like that. You place your shroom in there basically and you could put it instead of putting the rubble or whatever it is that I use you could just put this bottom on it and then once it attached then you take this off and you could break these pieces away and then you just put that on a frag plug or you could just sell them like this you know with the, the coral with attached onto this thing or whatever you want to do it also comes with a regular like a regular plate that you could use this is a plate too you could also have them attached to here or just go here and then like just scrape it and then glue it into something else whatever you want to do i mean it's pretty versatile verse it's pretty um how you say i don't know it has multiple uses i guess so you could use it in different ways it also comes with this piece right here that basically screws on to the bottom of this or the top of it whichever way you want to use this because you could use this like that basically grow whatever he is and cover it or you could use this as a basket and put the lid on it so it comes with this because you could purchase this basket separately um, instead of ha having to buy the whole rack and if you do that then you could just put this on here and you could place this on a frag rack so if you choose to buy the rack I think in my opinion this is a better way of doing this you just put this on here and these pop onto these places i think that usually you could get it in green like all green like the baskets in green with the green inserts or you could get it in blue but this is actually a special edition that he sent me it's all black with the green uh you know the green inserts and this is for a giveaway so I'm gonna be doing a giveaway on my Instagram. So if you don't have me on Instagram, make sure to go follow me because this is where you're gonna be doing this. And this cost $60 shipped from uh, Shroom Saver. Mm -hmm. Then go ahead and check out his Instagram. It's Shroom Saver, just like that. He makes some pretty dope stuff in there. Uh, this is all 3D printed. So yeah, instead of keep talking, I'm just gonna show you guys how to frag these shrooms and I'm gonna put this thing to work. All right, so now we're here by the tanks and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start cutting up the uh, shrooms. I have a couple of specimens that we're gonna be cutting up. All right, so the first one that we're gonna be cutting is that guy right there. And then we're gonna cut that one over there. Right there, it's nighttime, so they're starting to close up a little bit. That one already, one one looks like it's lit. To cut these, you gotta find where the mouth is. So usually if you poke it, right, some stuff should come out. So that is the mouth. But what I'm gonna do is cut this right across and get a piece of the mouth. Just like that. On each side. That's all the cut the screen. And then we can cut this in another piece. But you gotta make sure that you get some of the mouth in there. Right, so. Got it. Try to do one cut, try to be as clean as you can so that you don't do multiple cuts and start chopping it up. 
will take to take the mushroom longer to heal. The mouth there, that's the mouth right there. That white, so what we're gonna do is cut right across it. And just press as hard as you can so that you cut completely through it. Like that. And that is completely cut, but it's still attached to, to the rock, so we have to go ahead and clip off the piece of rock that it's attached to. Get it by the corner. Alright, so now we have that. That's attached to that. And this one is also attached to. Now, some people say that you have to cut him by the mouth, but like I've ripped it off where there's a piece of footing, and then new ones start to, to grow. So, like, as you can see, that's a quarter. This is a whole quarter, but what I'm gonna do right now, just to kind of experiment, is to cut this one right here. There's footing there, and see if that also um, grows or if just this piece will grow because this piece doesn't have any mouth in but it does have footing like it is attached to that so let's see if that um, you know if that also grows so what did you find there? so this one has a baby already right there so what we're gonna do is just try to see Okay, that's a baby right there. And this one for some reason is growing in a really weird way. I think it's splitting. I don't think so. I think that's the mouth right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it right across. So that's the mouth. It might be splitting. I don't know if it is or not, but it's growing really weird and it's been like that for a while. So we're gonna help it by cutting it so it can completely split. <laughs> This is not the first time we do this, like we have backups of this coral, so like I'm not afraid to like experiment a little bit. And this thing is pretty resilient, like I've ripped up chunks from like the from the frag rack and then like three babies start growing. So like I'm pretty confident that whatever pieces have a little bit of like enough flesh are gonna live just fine. These babies right here propagated um, by the shroom itself, like we didn't cut them, these are natural ones. So like that, you see that? So if I cut that right there, another one will start growing, but I'm gonna try to... Yeah, so it's already ripping. I think it ripped already, so I'm just gonna cut it. And that right there will be another baby, hopefully. And if not, then just die, but this one will be good. All right, so after everything's cut, I'm gonna do some drops of iodine. Okay, all right, so now this is where the shrimp saver comes in. I'm gonna put this, the breakaway floor thingies. This kind of the regular one that comes with. All right, so now that we have the shrimp saver ready, he's gonna grab the shrooms and rinse them from any excess of um, iodine. This one goes in your tank. That one's going for a 10 gallon, and then everything else is going in here. Okay, so all these little babies are gonna go I know this looks like a massacre, but that'll be fine. This stuff that's attached to the rock already, you could possibly put it back in the tank without any problems, but if they get stressed enough, they will let go of the rock, so you're better off putting it in a container like this, like the shroom saver.
All right, so now we have all of them in there. We're gonna cover them. All right, and we're all set. So now, yeah, put them in the things that clip onto the carrier, into the um, rack. All right, guys, so it's been about a week a uh, week and two days since we added the shroom saver. I just left it alone. I haven't touched it. I'm gonna open it with you guys so you can see the results. Everything should still be in there. You know, there's no way the shrooms can escape, so everything should be okay. All right, so we're just gonna unscrew it. And pop it out. You're gonna actually have to take out the whole rag and just take the whole thing around. But Is the first one and yeah I mean these were all on the rock so those were, those were already attached but they didn't fly away or anything like that this did not attach at all that's actually in the rock or something it's still alive though it's not dead so I think it just needs more time to find its way, I guess. Remember that these are all frags, they're not actual already healed uh, mushrooms. So what you want to do is just not lose them, and that's what this is for. So that it will get lost in the tank. And this is doing a very good job with that. So let's check the last one. And that's that. Alright, so some of the stuff, I don't want to move it too much, but some of the stuff, it already started to crust. Not in crust, uh, just stick. I'm going to flip that over. That went from that rock into the actual tray. So, I mean, everything's still alive. Everything smells good. <laughs> so, we're just going to leave it in there. It'll probably take, I don't know, like 3-4 weeks until the shrooms are fully healed. Maybe even longer for them to actually have a, a nice round shape. But what this is doing is just preventing them from flying away and us losing them. So it's doing the job. So it's doing the job pretty good. And that's it. We just wanted to check up on them. And make sure that everything, that nothing is dead. You don't want any dead shrooms in there. Alright, so we're going to put it back in there. All right, so I put the shrooms in the shroom saver. One of the really tiny shrooms that we got kind of flew out of the uh, basket that it was in. So that one, I just put it into the regular uh, anemone container thing that we have on the left side of the tank. Then it's fine there because like, also that one doesn't get a lot of flow in there. That one is great. That's a method that I've been using uh, to propagate all the other mushrooms that I had and some zoas that are in there. So that works great. So hopefully, this is just another option. You know, the one thing that's kind of weird about it is that you don't really get to see the shrooms in there. As of like container like that one, then you could just look down at it. But it's also a great, I mean, it's a great option. So like, like if say you have a mushroom that's really expensive, you just bought a little piece of mushroom that's expensive and you don't want to risk losing it you want to let it grow out and just completely be sure that it's going nowhere then the shroom saver is a great option for you to, cons to uh, consider if you want to get one just hit up shroom saver on instagram and i'll see you guys later <laughs>